Welcome to Grayon Math. We are asked to solve this problem. We have this rectangle A, B, C, D and two circles inside which is tangent to the sides of the uh, square at uh, point E, F, G, H for the two unit uh, radius of this uh, of two unit radius circle and the other is tangent at I, J, K for the one unit radius circle with center O and both are tangent to uh, the red line inside the rectangle and the rectangle side so we are required to find the area of the rectangle okay so first thing that we can do is we may connect the radius to radius of the small uh, circle and the large the two unit uh, radius circle to the point of tangency so we draw the radius okay, so next is we label the radius with the corresponding uh, lengths so for the small unit uh, small smaller circle we have this one and this one and uh, for the larger this is two and this is two and this is two and uh, uh, automatically by inspection we can see that this is 2 and this is 2 and that we say that the width of this uh, rectangle is 4 units so uh, let's say that w is equal to 4 so if the total width of the rectangle is 4 then if this md is 1 this is 1 and th this am should be 4 minus 1 or 3. Okay, so next is we say that uh, AM uh, is equal to AP. And because they are both uh, segments that intersect that point A and they are uh, at M at, and at P, they are both tangent. So if this is am is 3 then this uh, ap is also 3 okay so next is we focus on pl and ql so uh, pl is actually equal to this uh, then ql so if we let ql ql as x then pl is also x because they uh, have a at point P and Q that are tangent and intersect at L at the exterior of the circle. So this P L is also X. Okay, so next is we focus on H L and the G L. So again, they are both uh, equal segments because uh, they ha are they have this uh, they are tangent at H and G and have an exterior point at L. And therefore, this we can label this as y and y. Okay, so next is we get pH. So pH is equal to uh, this length PL, PL minus HL. So since PL is x, okay, and HL is y, so uh, we have pH. To be equal to x minus y so this is x minus y okay so next is we focus on the exterior tangent segments a e and a h so we just need to add this uh, 3 plus 3 and x minus y so that is a h so a e is equal to a h because they are both uh, exterior tangent segments that have the same point at A. So, A H is equal to 3 plus X minus Y. So, A E. So, A E, we can say that this is 3 plus X minus Y. Okay, so next is we focus on DQ. So DQ is actually an exterior tangent segment like uh, MD, which is tangent at K. 
while d q is tangent at q and both have an exterior point at d and therefore since they are uh, tangent to the circle so this d q is one and also at this uh, f c and g c so g c will be equal to f c because it is like uh, f c which is an exterior tangent uh, segment uh, with a length of 2 so this will be 2 and also eb will be uh, the same as bf because it is an exterior tangent at b i mean it has the exterior point at b same with bf so this is 2 okay so next is we equate the length of the top of the uh, rectangle versus the bottom so uh, l is equal to L and for the top we have a 3 plus X minus Y plus 2 and for the bottom we have a 1 plus X plus Y and plus 2 so we can cancel the X and X and uh, this becomes a uh, 5 minus y while the other gives us a uh, y plus 3 so we can put this uh, negative uh, y to the right hand side so we have 2y is equal to 5 minus 3 so 2y is equal to 2 and if we divide both sides by 2 so we have y is equal to 1 Okay, so next is we isolate triangle uh, ALD. So ALD. So at D it is a right angle and the uh, leg uh, AD is uh, 4, 3 plus 1, while the other leg DL is equal to x plus 1, and the hypotenuse is uh, 3 plus x. So this is the hypotenuse 3. And this is actually x, this length. So this becomes 3 plus x. Okay, so using Pythagorean theorem for this triangle, okay. so we have for we have to square the hypotenuse. X plus 3 squared. It is equal to the sum of the squares of the two add the two legs. So we have x plus 1 squared plus 4 squared so we have uh, x squared plus 6x plus 9 is equal to x squared plus 2x plus 1 plus 16 so we can cancel the x squared and the x squared on both of the left and the right hand side and we can put this 2x on the right to the left so 6x minus 2x is equal to and we put this 9 to the right. So we just copy this uh, 16 plus 1 minus 9. So we have a 4x is equal to 17 minus 9, which is, gives us uh, 8. Okay, so dividing both sides by 4. So this gives us x is equal to 2 units okay so for the area of the rectangle so the area is simply the length times the width and the area for the length we have a 1 if you look at the bottom the length is represented by the sum of this 1 plus x uh, plus y so plus y we need to add y plus y plus 2 and multiplied by the width which is uh, 4 so we can we need to replace this x and y by the corresponding values that we got earlier so 1 plus uh, x which is 2 plus 1 plus 2 uh, times 4 so this gives us a uh, 6 times 4 
6 times 4. And therefore, the area is equal to 24 square units. And that is our answer. So, thank you for watching until the end of the video. Please like the video if you like our solution. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. So, you will be updated for more math videos like this. Thank you. Bye.